Um, again, you could use a set of hand weights or um, cans if you don't have any or um, spaghetti jars, which is a great idea. Thanks, Antoinette. Uh -huh. And um, I will be muting us um, at one point. I um, do suggest though, it would be awesome if you could keep your screen on, um, your video, because you could use that as a tool for yourself so you could look at your form. Um, I will be, of course, like sharing everything of, of how to be aware with the body and stuff, but look at yourself, look at your thumbnail, or you could bring your, you could pin your own video up and just look at how your form is, okay? And then sometimes I'll try to take a look at the screen um, and just add some corrections of what I see and stuff, okay? Cool. All right, so we're gonna get it started. Let me get the music going. All right, so let's go ahead and of course you have a map. One second. Let's get this started. Okay, so we have a mat. So let's get it started. Let me angle us. All right, so let's stand at one side of the mat. Let's all stand up. Face one side of the mat. Oh, I know I can't really see me. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and stand hip width distance apart. So let's take a look at our ankles and our knees and let's make sure ankles and knees are aligned to your hip bones. And we're gonna start by reaching the hands up to the sky. Let's go really tall. On an exhale, let's slowly bring the hands down to the side of our waist. We're gonna do it a few more times, but I want you to stretch in a way. Inhale, fingertips reach up, pull the belly into the spine. Exhale, hands come back down, but keep the rib cage in, belly engages. Our last one for inhale, you bend the knees in a way for a call. Exhale, hands come back down. On this next one, we're gonna gently bend the knees, reach the hands up to the sky. Start to nod your chin to your chest, curling all the way down, feeling each vertebra all the way down. From here, let's gently bend our knees and slowly roll back up. We're getting lubrication through the entire spine. Inhale the hands back up to the sky, grow tall. Exhale, slowly nod all the way down. We're gonna do this about two more times. Bend the hips, shift the hips, down to the heels, curl up, engaging through the core. Our last full one, inhale up, exhale, rolling all the way down. Feel each vertebra decompress and give it nice space. Once the hands come down, bend the knees, curl back up. We're gonna get ready to press out to plank, all right? So let's reach <coughs> up to the sky. Exhale, nod chin to your chest. We're gonna roll all the way down. Now for your plank modify, you could go onto the knees. We're gonna walk out to our plank, toes or knees in four, three, two, and one. Let's hold it. Now, add a challenge, bring the legs together. More stability, bring the feet as wide as hip width distance apart. Let's just hold this plank, turn on your core, reach your head and neck long, shoulders roll down your back. Just hold it. Now bring awareness to both hands, and toes, make sure you have even weight underneath it. You're in it for three, two, one. Let's drop the knees down, uncurl the toes, shift the hips over the heels, stretch in a way and feel the fingertips reach forward. And just breathe into this for three, two, and one. We're gonna come back up, curl the toes underneath the heels, or you could go onto kneeling plank. You're gonna find your plank in three, Two, one, let's come up, hold your plank, get stable. Pull the abs into the spine. Now you're going to saw. We're gonna slide our plank forward by lifting the heels and then slide your plank back by dropping the heels down. Let's do it again, slide forward by lifting the heels, drop the heels down, keeping the plank. We're gonna go for three, forward, pull the belly in, drop those heels. Let's go for two, forward, drop those heels, and last one, forward, drop those heels, hold it for three, two, one, drop the knees. Child pose again, you're in it for three, two, and one. Now we're gonna slide our palms to our knees. We're gonna come up, so lift the hips off of those heels. And then we're gonna bring our right knee forward. So right knee comes forward. 
Then you're gonna take, let's start with both hands. Both hands go over the knee. Pull the belly in and shift your hips forward and feel your left hip flexor elongate and allow your torso to reach forward as well. Very good. You're in this for three, two, one. You're gonna pause. Reach your left hand up to the sky. It's like you're about to touch the ceiling. And then laterally flex over to your right. As you do this, try to shift your left hip forward and to the side a bit. So you're feeling that side stretch for three, two, and one. Let's bring it up. Hand comes onto the knee. Shift the hips back. Reach the right hand forward. Now you're going to twist the arm and your torso to the right. So you're twisting as though you're about to reach the fingertips to the back of the wall behind you. Good, enjoy that stretch. You're in it for three, two, one. Bring it home to center. Right hand on knee. Lift your left hand up. Now fan over to the left, opening up that right hip. Well, your right hip isn't moving, it's just your torso spinning out. Reach the fingertips behind you again. Match it right above your left toes and foot. You're in it for three, two, one. Twist it to center. Plant both hands and frame your right foot. Shift the hips back, and as you go into this, feel your ham, hamstring go into this nice stretch. Flex the heel and pull your right hip back and feel the side of your, your right waist go long. You're in this for three, two, one. Let's bend that knee, come up, reach the right hand up to the sky again in a fuller twist. Very good. You're in it for five. Four, three, two, one. Fan that hand back and framing the right foot. Now, we're gonna curl the left toe underneath our heel and you're gonna lift the left knee up. So you're like in this lunge. And now we're gonna press out into a plank. Slide the foot back, modify, go onto the knees. Stabilize to the core. Get really stable and sturdy for me. You're looking great, everyone. Deep breath, nice job. We're gonna go into downward dog in three, two, one, shift the hips up to the sky, drop the heels down. From here, bend the knees in a 90 degree angle. Open up the head, neck, and shoulders forward. Now slide back out to plank. Let's do that slow again. Downward dog, lift the hips up. And now start to bend the knees 90 degree. Look in between your thumbs, hold. And now slide forward, plank. We have two more. Lift the hips back up. Downward dog and then bend the knees, 90 degree. Shoot forward into the plank. This is our last one, downward dog. Drop the heels if you want. Now bend the knees, 90 degree. Look in between your thumbs, hold. And now shift forward, you're in it for three, two, one. Drop the knees, uncurl the toes, and shift the hips back. You're in child's pose again for three, two, one. Let's come on up. Other side, let's get our left foot forward now. Make sure both hip bones are squared to each other and to the ground, I mean. Good, and now let's place both hands onto our knees. Shift your hips forward, elongate that right hip flexor, lean the torso forward so you're not creating an arch in that low back. Relax those shoulders, feel that deep stretch down through the knee, up through the crown of your head for three, Two, one, reach only the right hand up, laterally flex over to the left, stretch out through that right hip and that hip flexor. You're in it for three, two, one. Let's go, let's bring that hand back and now come back to this 90 degree with that left knee. Lift the left hand up, twist to the left. So you're rotating, reach the left fingertips to the back of the room. You're in it for three, two, one, twist to center, switch hands, hover right hand, and fan open to the right. Good, allow for your heart to open up, keep the shoulders down. You're in it for three, two, one, bring it to center. Frame your left foot with both hands, curl the toes underneath the heels, lift that left knee up, really reach for this and now what are we doing oh drop that right knee down sorry that was my fault <laughs> okay and then now we're going to twist the left hand up to the sky so you're in this twist but allowing for yourself to go into this lunge for three two one left hand comes down shift the hips back now hovering the hips 
over the heels. Now let's flex the left foot or the left entire foot up. Pull your left hip back so it's parallel with that right hip. You're in this stretch for three, two, one. Let's come on up, bend that knee, palms go onto the ground. Now let's curl the right toe, lift that left knee up. Let's press out to plank, modify, go onto the knees. Hold it for me, get that core strength. Now get ready. We're working slow mountain climbers. Right knee comes to right elbow, and bring that foot down. Left knee to left elbow, bring that foot down. Right knee to right elbow, bring that foot down. Left knee to left elbow, bring it down. As you do this, turn on the core, allowing for the core to help the hips also hover, so they're not shifting side to side. You're working this for six more seconds. Find that stability for me. You're in it for three, two, and one. And drop the knees down, child pose. You're in it for five, four, three, two, and one. And let's come on up. All right, so let's get ready because now we're gonna go into our, um, our cardio section, okay? So we're gonna stand up. So let's all go ahead and stand up. Everyone's doing amazing. All right. So let's go ahead and you can stand behind your mat. So allow for your mats to be long here. We're gonna start it off with doing jumping jacks. And I want you to work jumping jacks that's like an even cadence. I, want, I don't want you to go too fast, okay? Focus on the alignment. So we're gonna be jumping, or where'd my phone go? We're gonna be working jumping jacks. I have my timer here. <laughs> for 40 seconds, okay? Just letting you know, you got this. And then after that, I'm just gonna go over it all with you. So after that, then we're gonna be stacking our forearms just like this. Modified version, you could march in place. Added challenge, you could start to pull a knee up and go into this high knee. After that, we're gonna go into a little gear shift, a gear change, where we're gonna sprint it out as fast as we can, okay? Meaning you, your hands could drop and you could jog it out, but keep those knees high, okay? So we're gonna be doing all of that. We got this. So let's start it off. Oh, and you have a 15 second rest, all right? So let's start it off in three, two, and one, and jumping jacks. Let's go for it. And jump. Jump. So let's go for that. Now as you do this, keep the shoulders down, keep the neck long. You're doing amazing, everybody. Very good. You got it, keep it going, keep it going. Nice job, everyone, breathe. I just muted you guys, just letting you know. It's all love. <laughs> there you go. Very good, pull the belly in. Keep the shoulders down, you got it. Don't, don't give up, you got this. Now get ready. In 10 seconds, we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit faster. Bring the levers in, you're in it for three, two, let's go a little bit faster, 10 seconds. You got it, work that little gear shift. You could do it, you're in it for five, four, three, yes, two, you got it, and one, bring it home, let's breathe it out. Good job. We are now in 11 seconds of a break. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Nice work. Breathe it out, move around. All right, next up, again, forearm stack. March in place for modified. If not, do a little knee pull up to the forearms, okay? After that, the gear shift, you, we're gonna run it in place. Keep those knees high, high, okay? So just let me know. All gonna happen in three, two, one, and let's work it. Modify, march in place. If not, let's work that little hop, take, a little slow of a cadence for me. Good, that's it. Now, I'm doing profile view, because I want you to make sure you're pulling the knee high and you're keeping the shoulders down. Keep your neck long, ribs in. Keep engaging through the core. You're working this 18 more seconds. Now in five seconds, we're gonna sprint it out, okay? In three, two, one, let's go. Speed, 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 speed. Lean it back, pull the knees back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You can do it. Deep breath, five, four, three, two, one, and 15 seconds. Good job. 
So nice to work, everyone. We're gonna go straight into squats now. Let's stand with feet hip width distance apart. Palms are in front of your heart. We're gonna work line squats starting now. So shift the hips back, we'll do profile view. And stand up. Now, for these, I want you to bring awareness to your entire foot. Let's make sure your feet are first sharing weight. So you're not leaning into one foot than the other. And then shift the weight so all 10 toes, balls of the feet, and both heels share that weight. Keep the neck long, shoulders down. Rib cage in. Core always engages. You're doing awesome, everyone. Take a deep breath for me. So good. Three seconds. You're gonna hold that squat in three, two, one. Hold your squat, reach the hands forward, shift the weight into the heels. Let's pulse the hips down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. You could allow for the toes to reach up to the sky. Pull the ribs in, core always engages. You got it, deep breath. So good, you're in it for three, two, one. You're gonna stand up, palms touch back to squats. Shift the hips back and up. Back and down and up. Extra challenge, reach the hands forward. You got it. Finding that reach forward, shoulders always down. Keep it going. You're working this for 18 more seconds. You're doing awesome, everyone. Take a deep breath in for me. Looking great. We're going to hold our pulse in eight more seconds. You got it. Deep breath. You can do it. Three, two, hold your pulse. You're doing great. Let's pulse it out. Up an inch, down an inch. Keep pulsing. Palms come to your heart. So pray your hands. Keep pulsing and now go into the balls of the feet and lift the heels up. Keep that pulse. Core is engaging. Strengthening through the ankle. You're in this for eight more seconds. Find your balance. Four, three, two, one. Drop the heel, stand up, wiggle it out. Nice job, everyone. Breathe. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that cardio portion again. Okay, but we're now gonna go 30 seconds instead of 40 seconds. But breathe it out. You're all doing so good. I'm gonna change the... All right, here we go. Okay, whoa, it started. Okay, so now get ready, back to jumping jacks, okay? You got this. All gonna happen in four, three, two, and one. Let's work jumping jacks. Take a deep breath. You're doing so good, everyone. So just letting you know, we're breaking down these cardio segments. So instead of going straight into high knees, we're gonna work some Pilates abs work next, okay? Just letting you know. Keep going. Deep breath. Keep the shoulders relaxed, neck long. Now we're gonna sprint it out. When you sprint it out, pull the elbows and bend the elbows more in. Give me smaller, concise movements. In three, two, and one. Let's go quick, 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 quick. There you go, nice and strong. Pull the belly in. Imagine yourself growing 10 inches taller. Feel how even your abdominal wall elongated. You're in it for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it home. Nice job, everyone, yes. Okay, so now we're going to lie down on our mat. Any side you want. All right, so let's go ahead and lie down. But um, what are, just kidding, don't fully lie down, <laughs> sit up. I'm like, what do I want my flow to be today? Okay, so we're gonna start it off while, um, with knees bent. I want you to make sure your ankles and your knees are hip width distance apart. So go ahead and give yourself this space that's always aligning to the hip. Just so every time we move, we're always aligning, okay? Now, let's reach the hands up to the sky. I want you to go really tall. And on an exhale, bring the hands down in front of your chest and start to roll into a half roll down. That means you're scooping the belly deep and you're gonna lean back halfway, turn on the abs. Flip the palms up to the sky, feel your collarbones open up. Hold it for three, two, 
One, you're gonna come back up. Reach the hands up to the sky, grow tall. Imagine you're up against a flat wall. Exhale, slowly scoop the belly again. Reach the hands forward. Now let's go a little bit deeper. Pull that belly button to your spine. You're in it for three, two, one. Reach the hands up, grow really tall again. We're going three more times. Inhale, exhale. Scoop a little bit deeper. Feel your low back decompress. So each vertebra allows for a little bit of space. You're in it for three, two, one. Let's come back up. Inhale, grow really tall. Exhale, scoop back a little bit more. Good. Imagine like someone's about to gut punch you, but you're not letting them. You're pulling away from their fist. You're in this for three, two, and one, let's come back up. This is our last one, we're gonna hold it. Inhale, exhale, scoop the belly, round all the way down, hold it. Flip the palms back up. Open up the heart forward, neck goes long. Now, back of your waistband, you're gonna pulse it down to the mat, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Ground those heels down, turn on the core, you got this. Working these tiny, concise movements. We're getting really precise here. There you go, you got it. How's upper body? Make sure you're not shrugging up. Get all the strength down into the core. You're working this for four, three, two, one. Let's come back up, inhale. Exhale, scoop back into that half roll down. Flip the palms down now, shoulders down as well. Bend the right elbow out to the side. It's like you're about to shoot a bow and arrow. And then now extend the right arm long. Scoop water underneath, or as though you're scooping water up. Now we're gonna switch, other side. Bend left elbow, twist to the left. Extend the left arm and scoop down and up. We're gonna go two sets. Bend right elbow, twist. Extend right arm, down and up. Keep the core engaged, keep the scoop. Bend elbow, extend left arm, scoop down and up. This is our last one. Bend right elbow, twist. Extend long, scoop it down and up. Other side, last one, extend. Left arm, scoop it down and up. Now reach the hands up to the sky, grow tall. Exhale, we're going to roll it all the way down, all the way until your head touches, and relax the arms and legs. Yay, you get to lie down. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and bend both knees. So both knees are bent. Still make sure knees and ankles are hip width distance apart, okay? All right, from here, you could pull the heels a little bit more in because yes, we're gonna be working bridging. So palms are down, slide the palms and shoulders down to the heels, neck goes long, open up your heart. Now we're gonna scoop the belly into a pelvic rock. So you're tilting the tailbone. And now we're gonna roll up vertebrae by vertebrae up to the ceiling. It's like you're pressing the hip bones up to the sky while reaching the knees over the toes. Now we're gonna roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Let's go to the middle of the back, but use the abs to also help with that flexion. Let's go to the low back. I'm just gonna bring my arms up so you can see, and then uncurl the tailbone. Let's do it again. Inhale, exhale, scoop, slowly roll up, dig through both heels, even out the feet and then slowly roll it back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, allowing for the abs to assist even the back to control the flexion of the spine. Two more times, inhale, exhale, scoop, roll it back up, work through the glutes, reach the knees over the toes, press hip bones higher, and now roll it down, vertebrae by vertebrae. On our last one, I want you to evenly work through both feet, so you're not leading through one side. Bring awareness, inhale, exhale, scoop, and roll it back up, Squeezing the glutes at the top, rolling it back down. Remember to keep both weight distributed underneath both feet and shoulders. And slowly roll it back down. Hands come down to the side of our hip. Well, actually they are, that was me. <laughs> and now we're gonna pull the right knee into tabletop position. That means the knee steps over the hip. Let's flex the right foot. Now we're gonna, instead of an articulated bridge, we're gonna work a flat back hinge bridge, single leg, okay? Inhale to prepare, exhale. Let's lift the hips up to the sky, dig through the left heel, and slowly bring it back down. Lift the hips back up, and slowly bring it back down. You got it. Digging through that left heel, and slowly bring it back down. Let's go for three, and bring it back down. Let's go for two, let's bring it back down. Hold this last one, lift up, extend the right leg long so you're pointing it, 
And now lower the right leg down to meet the left thigh. Flex the foot, lift it back up. Point lower, flex lift. Point lower, flex lift. Go a little bit quick, but maintain pelvic stability. Let's go for three, and two, and one, and hold it, flex that foot, curl down, middle of the back, low back, top of tailbone, uncurl, bend that knee other side, good job. All right, stack the left knee into tabletop position. Get ready, flat back, hinge bridge. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift the hips up to the sky, and slowly drop that hip down. Lift the hips up to the sky and bring it back down. Try to maintain a 90 degree angle in that left knee. And you could always look at your thumbnail in the mirror. How is your spine and your alignment looking? Great, let's go for three. You're doing awesome. And let's go for two. Keep your left waist long and hold this last one. Extend that left leg long. Point the toe to lower. Flex the foot to lift. Point, lower, flex, lift. Point, lower, flex, lift. You got it. We're gonna go for four, and three, and two, and one, and hold it. Keep that heel flexed, curl down, middle of the back, low back, top of tailbone, uncurl, bend the knees, hug the knees into the chest, and rock it out side to side, and we're gonna roll over onto our right side okay so let's roll over to the right side get ready for side lying just know we're eventually going to be working planks but not right away if you're working a plank and you want to modify stack the knees and just lift the bottom hip if not we're just going to extend both legs long um, with the top leg forward okay but now we're not doing that yet but let's extend the right arm long bring your right cheek onto your right bicep Take your left hand in front of your heart. And now let's shift your hips back to the back of your mat. So that means you're kind of in a diagonal. And now you're going to bend both knees. And now you're gonna extend your left leg long and hover it as high as your, le your left hip bone. Make sure the left hip bone is stacked right over the bottom hip. Now, from here, you're gonna lift that left leg up to the sky and lower it back down. Lift it up. As you do this, let's maintain parallel. Make sure your hips, knees, and toes are facing forward. Very good, lift it up and lower down. Pull the belly in. Now make sure you have a mouse house underneath your right waist. So you're, there's no pressing of the right waist into the mat. Make sure there's a gap. We're gonna go for two and for one and hover that leg, point the toe and bring that toe forward. Flex the foot and bring it back, squeeze the left glute. Point the toe, sweep the foot forward, flex the foot and sweep it back. Now as you do this, maintain pelvic stability. So the top hip is not pushing or pulling forward and back. You're working in a range of motion that allows you to maintain stability. We're gonna go for two more. So this is two, flex, pull back. Last one, flex, pull it back. Now bring that foot right at hip line, right underneath it. Let's do little circles as big as a saucer. Stabilize through the core, stabilize through the hip, any direction you want. We're gonna reverse the circle in three, two, one, reverse it. Good, you're working this for three, two, one, and bring that leg down, very good. You could pat that hip, good job. All right, so now we're gonna go into side plank. So, modify, remember to stack the knees. If not, let's get your right hand underneath the right shoulder, left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna reach the left hand up to the sky. We're gonna hold the side plank, get ready. All gonna happen, pull the abs in in three, two, one, let's lift, hold it. So just to clarify, left foot forward, right foot back. Very good. Get ready for hip dips. Drop the right hip down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Now I want you pulling that left hip as high up as you can to the sky. Feel the obliques turn on. You're doing great, everyone. Keep lifting. Now I want you to elongate the spine. Make sure you're not curling your head down. Look up and forward and open up your heart. We have two more. This is two and one, you're gonna hold it. Left hand is gonna go onto the ground, but you're keeping a tilt in the hips. 
Yep, that means right hip down, left hip up. Now, you're gonna bend the knees and shift the hips back, and then extend out to that twisted plank. Bend the knees down, and extend out to twisted plank. We're gonna go for four, and extend twisted plank. And three, extend, and two, and one more. Then you're gonna hold it. Lift the hips up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Find your oblique. You've got this. You're working this for five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and drop on your hip. Good job. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna work jumping jacks, all right? You're doing amazing, everyone. So let's come on up. We're gonna work the same circuit. Jumping jacks with a little bit of a gear change straight into the high knees. I am gonna add another one after that. Um, I'll tell you when it's time, all right? So let's go ahead, stand up, jumping jacks. We're working 30 seconds and then 10 second sprint, okay? Happening in three, two, and one. Let's go for it, jumping jacks. Deep breath. Now find an even cadence so you're not going too fast. Good. Keep the shoulders down. Keep the abs pulled in. You're doing great, everyone. All right, so we have about 11 more seconds. Then we're gonna go into that quick speed. Elbows could bend more, and you don't have to jump the feet out too wide. In three, two, and one, let's go. Speed, 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 speed. Now really center through the core. Try not to move your body side to side. It's only the limbs. It's three and two. And one, and bring it home. Breathe, good. We're gonna go straight into the high knees. Forearm step, pulling a knee up and you're switching, okay? Give me a shoulder shrug. Three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Pull the knees up. Modify, march in place, or just find an even cadence. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Forearm stack, so you're maintaining the perfect upper body alignment. Try to pull the knees up higher to the chest. You got it. We're working this. 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna go straight into that speed high knees. Hands could come down. Three, two, one, let's go for it. Lean back, pull the knees high. You got it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pull the knees higher, let's go, let's go, let's go. Three, and two, and one, and relax, nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do, looking great everyone, we're gonna be working these a sumo squat. So hips, knees, and toes, 45 degree angle. Palms could come to your heart. If you ha have hand weights, you could totally grab them. I'm gonna grab mine, or, or cans, or whatever you want, okay? Right? So what we're gonna do, if you have the hand weights, we're gonna bend the elbows, and when we go into a sumo squat, reach the hands up, all right? So let's try it. All gonna happen in, ooh, three, two, and one sumo. Reach the hands up and bring it home. For those of us with palms to prayer hands, just keep the prayer hands, but lift the elbows and feel your collarbones widen. Now for all of us sumo squats, I want you to Allow your torso to lean forward a bit so you're not always creating that arch in the low back. We always want to find length so you can decompress. Now, in five seconds, we're going to hold our squat. Three and two and one. Hold the squat. Palms come to your heart. Let's pulse down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Pull the belly into the spine. Feel the sides of the waist go long. Deep breath for me. Give me a shoulder shrug if you're straining them up. Now we're gonna lift the toes in three, two, one, pause. Lift the heels up, not toes, sorry. Drop the heels back down. Lift the heels up, drop the heels back down. Add a challenge, reach the arms long and hold it as you lift only the heels and down. Make sure the hips don't move. Keep those hips just hovering in midair. We're gonna hold the heel lift in three, Two, one, let's lift them up, little pulses of the hips, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. If the weights feel heavy, you go back to prayer hands. You're working this for 
eight more seconds. Three, not eight, <laughs> two, and one, drop the heel, stand up. Not eight, my bad. Wiggle it out. Good job, everyone. All right, so what we're gonna do, palms or weights come to your heart. Let's get the hips, knees, and toes um, facing forward. We're gonna drop into this squat. We're gonna extend the arms long, bring it back to the heart. Then you're going to pivot to the right, and now notice how my left knee finds a 90 degree and the right knee finds a 90 degree. Punch forward, bring it back in, center, punch. Pivot to the left, same thing, 90 degree, punch, and bring it back in, all right? So we're working this for 30 seconds, all right? You got it. So let's get into position. Sumo squat, weight to your heart in three, two, one, and punch forward. Bring it to the heart, pivot to the right. Punch, bring it to the heart. Center, punch, bring it to the heart. Left, punch, bring it to the heart. Right, punch, bring it to the heart. Right, punch, bring it to the heart. Center, punch, there we go. Heart, left, punch, heart. Center, punch, heart. This is our last set. Punch, heart, center, punch, heart, and left side, punch, heart, bring it home, stand up, bend the elbows, palms face the sky. We're gonna work little, little uh, single arm serving the platter. So you're keeping 90 degree and you're just punching for it just like this, okay? So let's start that. As you do this, grow super long, collarbones wide, slowly drop into a squat, and slowly come back up. Now, get the weight into the heels for these and start to even out the weight. Now, as you reach opposite hand forward, try not to shift your torso. So keep your torso and even your shoulder is absolutely still. You got this. Now, in six more seconds, we're gonna hold our squat and keep punching, okay? You got it, it's all gonna happen in three, two, one, keep it punch, 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 punch. You got this, it's five, and it's four, and it's three, and it's two, and it's one, and bring it home, wiggle it all out, nice. Let's put the hand weights away. We're now gonna even out the other side, okay? So, we're gonna go back onto our mat, so let's go back onto the mat. We're going to lie down on our left side. We're gonna slide our left arm long, and then you're gonna flip the left hand or the left palm up to the sky, rest the left cheek on your left bicep. Shift the hips back to the back edge of your mat, and bend the knees to start so that left knee is a little bit forward. Now make sure the top hip is directly over the bottom hip, if you need to press that top hip forward so you could create a little gap. So if you see me, I'm creating a gap underneath my left hip. So you can see the light there or left waist. That's what we want to maintain, okay? Right hand goes on top of your chest. And now let's go ahead and elongate the right leg. Flex the foot, hips, knees, and toes face forward. Now you're gonna lift that leg up and bring it back in, working this abduction. As you do this, try your best not to let that right hip or the top hip rock back and down or up to the shoulder. If you want to work a tactile cue, you can place the hand on that top hip so that you're keeping it stacked over the bottom. Good. We're going to go for four and for three. I want you to stretch through the right heel and two. And last one, you're going to hold that heel right underneath the hip. Now let's point the right toe and reach the toe forward. Let's flex the right foot and pull it back, squeezing at the glute. Point the toe forward, so you're sweeping it. Flex the foot, pull it back. Stabilize through the hips, point forward. Flex, pull back. Let's go for two, this is two forward. Flex the foot back. Last one, point forward. And flex back, stretch through the heel. Bring it right underneath the hip, little circles. Keep the heel flexed. Tiny circle, stabilize through the hip bone or the hip joint. Now we're gonna reverse it in three, two, reverse that circle, stabilize through the hip, create that lubrication. It's three, two, one, bend that knee, bring it home, pad that booty. Good job, I know. All right, so 
Now let's get the right foot forward and the left foot back. So it's gonna look like you're walking a tightrope. It looks like this, but you're gonna bring it down onto the ground. Modify, stack the knees. Now we're going to get onto our left palm. So left palm, let's put it right underneath the left shoulder as best as possible. Now let's reach the right hand up to the sky, pull the belly in, and now inhale to prepare on an exhale. Let's come up into this side plank, squeeze the glutes, elongate the spine and sides of the waist. Just hold it. Now look at your neck. Make sure your neck isn't down or coming up. It's elongated. Get ready for hip dip. Let's bring that hip down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. You're doing great, everyone. Deep breath, keep reaching up through that right hand. Stabilize throughout the body. Stretch into the feet and into the palms, all the way up through the crown. You got it, you're working it for five. You got this, four, yes, three, two. You're gonna hold it, bring that right hand down. Keep the feet where they are. Tilt the hips or maintain it. Now bend the knees all the way in. Exhale, slide it back out, stretch. Bend the knees in, uh, keep the abs engaged. Reach energy up through the crown. Bend the knees in. Exhale, extend two more. This is two. Keep the tilt. And last one. And extend, hold it, little hip dips. Up an inch, down an inch. Keep the tilt of the hips. It's like you're pulling the left hip away from the mat. Find that oblique. It's three, two, one. And bring it back home. So good. Now we're going to lie down on our backs. We're going to pull the knees into your chest. And then you're gonna take the hands behind the thighs. So pull the hands behind the thighs. Now let's go ahead and go into tabletop by pressing the feet and heels forward and find tabletop as best as you can. Start to press the back of your thighs into your hands. Feel the opposition as you pull the palms back up against the thighs. Now let's come up into a curl if available for you. If not, keep the head down, it's totally fine. If you're up, press the thighs a little bit more into the hands. Come up, lifting the shoulder blades. Very good. Core is engaging. Now, maintain the core engagement. Don't move it. Now, hover the hands. Hold for three, two, one. Grab the thighs. Let's do it again. Inhale, exhale. Hover the hands. Hold. Don't move the body. Three, two, one. Pull it back in. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Hold. You're in it for three, two, one one pull it in head drops knees bend now take your left hand on top of the knee or left hand on top of the right knee and then your right hand goes on top of the right shin extend the left leg long good now press the shin into your hands if available for you come up into a curl if you're in a curl lift the elbows up so you can feel the collarbones widen scoop the belly into the mat inhale to prepare on an exhale, switch legs. That means right hand on knee, left hand on shin. Inhale to prepare, exhale, switch legs. This is your double leg stretch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Hold your curl. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, extend. Keep going. I want you pointing down through the ankles and toes like you're about to touch the wall across from you. I want you to reach energy up through the crown of your head while you feel the expansion of the collarbones. You're holding your proper form, turning on the core to get strong for you to hold this. Keep going, we have two, and two, one, and one, knees bend, head drops. We're going to work bicycles. Modify, just keep doing a single leg stretch. Hands go behind the head, the occipital ridge. You can interlace the fingers. Let's come up into this curl, pull the belly in, lift the elbows and shoulders, and now extend the left leg long, twist to the right, that means left shoulder goes to the right knee, and switch, bicycles, switch, keep extending through the toes and ankles, switch, good, switch. Keep pulling the opposite shoulder up, it's like you're lifting it another inch, you got it, turning on the obliques for me, stretch into the legs, you got this, keep breathing, switch, switch. We have two and two and one and one. Both legs meet, head drops, grab the knees, wiggle the knees side to side. Good work, everyone. You're in it for three, 
two, and one. Now we're going to get the knees into tabletop position, flex the feet, or imagine we're in a reformer now. I want you to go into Pilates V, so hips, knees, and toes are in a 45 degree angle, so it looks like this. Yep, so just like that. And then we're gonna bring our hands out into a T. Make sure the palms don't go above the shoulders, okay? Pull the low abs in. Now, working a heel squeeze, I want you to imagine I'm giving you a $100 bill in between the heels. So let's do a little squeeze pulse. Let's pulse for five and four, four and three, three, two, two, one, one. Inner thighs, pelvic floor turns on. Now you're gonna extend the legs and bring the hands down to the side of the hips and reach the arms wide as you bend the knees. Next one, add a curl if available for you and then the knees open up the hands. Exhale, extend. So just like our reformer work, I want you to imagine even those straps guiding your movement. But as you work, the goal is to really lengthen through all of the movement. Keep squeezing the heels together and make sure they don't leave each other. Reach down to the glutes, extend through the heels. Feel even the calves and inner thighs try to pull tight. We're gonna go for three, try to come up higher. And a two, use your breath. Hold this last one, inhale, exhale, come up and hold, point the toes, crisscross kicks, right over left, left over right, right over left, left over right. Turn on the low abdominal wall. Good, keep stretching through the toes. Now start to lower the legs down if you want and add a challenge. Lift it back up, lower down, lift up. Remember that's extra challenge if you want it. If not, just keep crisscrossing. You're in it for three and two and one. And knees bend, bring it home. Head drops, wiggle it out. Nice work. Get the hands out into a T. Feet go onto the ground. Drop the knees over to the left. Now, as you're here, take a deep breath in and feel the sides of the waist and even your spine elongate. Exhale, maintain it. Good, and just breathe normally. Now on your next inhale, I want you to use the inhale to help pull the knees to center, okay? Exhale to prep. Inhale, pull the knees up to center. And on your exhale, drop the knees to the right. Now notice how the breath helped you initiate action through the core. Inhale, elongate spine. Exhale, maintain it. Inhale, pull the knees to center. Let's do it again. Drop the knees to the left. Exhale. And now inhale, pull center. Exhale, drop right. Um, and inhale, pull it to center. And now let's hug the knees into the chest. Now elongate the legs up to the sky, flex the feet. Separate the feet so they are a little bit wider than your hips. Now reach the hands up to the sky, palms face each other, wrist stack over the shoulder. We're gonna come up to crunch, it, um, to frame our right thigh into an oblique crunch. Inhale to prep, exhale, let's go ahead and lift up, framing the right thigh, but don't move the legs and hips. Come to center, inhale, exhale, frame left thigh now, bring it to center, legs don't move, and frame the right thigh. As you come up, make sure you're stabilizing through the back of both hips. So one hip isn't lifting up or down, one leg isn't pulling in towards you. It's like your legs and the back of your hips are absolutely still. You're separating the upper body from the leg as you come up and hold it. Now let's hold this last one, just hold it. Get ready to pulse, forward an inch, back an inch, forward an inch, back an inch. As you do this, press up through both heels, come up a little bit higher, work through the obliques. You have five, you have four, you have three, you have two, you have one, and home, other side. Inhale, exhale, come up, hold it. Let's pulse forward an inch, back an inch, forward an inch, back an inch. Working through the oblique, you've got this. It's five, and it's four, press up through the heels. It's three, and it's two, and it's one, and bring it home. Very good job. Knee, hands go over the knees. Let's swivel the knees side to side, good work. All right, so now we're gonna go, we're gonna remain lying down, but now we're going to extend the legs long. You're gonna reach the hands up to the sky. You're gonna fan the hands out into a T, open up the collarbones, and then bring the back of the hands down to the thighs or hips. 
Flip the palms to face the hips, reach them up. So you're just creating circles in the arms and fan them back out and bring it to the hips. Reach the hands up, go back into a T. Now let's add a little lift. Add your head, neck and shoulders into a lift. And when your head drops, reach the hands up. Let's go two more. Let's go wide, hands come to the hips, lift head, neck and shoulders at the same time. Head drops, arms come up. Last one, T. And let's come on up and head drops and bring it home. We're gonna go now onto our bellies. You all are doing amazing. How are we with time? All right, so we're about to be done. So let's go ahead and first get your feet hip width distance apart and you're going to bend the elbows onto the ground. Your nose is going to touch the mat. Elbows are a little bit beneath your shoulders and palms are by the side of your ears in a way, okay? So we're going to work with swan. I want you to point the toes, press the hip bones into the mat, and slowly, if available for you, lift your head, neck, and shoulders into a swan. I want you to press into the palms to pull your torso forward and slowly bring it home. So notice it's not about only a lift. Inhale, exhale. Come up, really elongate the entire spine, and slowly bring it back home. Let's go for two. Inhale, exhale for two, and bring it back home. Inhale, exhale, last one, and bring it back home. Now what we're gonna do, we're going to bend the, the knees, squeeze the heels together, maintain Pilates V, and now give me blade arms. So palms come to the side of the hips. Now we're, what we're gonna do is squeeze the heels and lift the knees up and away from the hips and release. This next one, you're going to lift the head and neck and shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades, and slowly bring it back home. Modify, just work a hovering extension of the cervical spine. Let's go for four. So this is four. Open up and elongate, and drop. And three, and drop. And two, and drop. And one, and drop and release, really good job. Plant the palms onto the mat. Let's go into child's pose. Reach the hips over the heels, stretch into this. Take your left hand, thread it underneath the right arm. Look underneath the right arm and pull the right hip back. And as you pull the left shoulder forward, just allow yourself to breathe length into it for three, two and one let's come to center other side extend the left arm long thread the right hand underneath and pull the left hip back and try to look a little bit underneath that left um, arm by pulling the left shoulder up for three two one let's come to center now let's curl the toes underneath the heels and we're gonna walk or um, walk our hands to our toes, let me go here, and let's lift the knees up. You're kind of in this squat here. Keep the palms down and start to slowly extend the hips up to the sky, long extended legs. Now stretch heel to glute, feel your hamstring stretch. Now let's go ahead and bend the right knee, press that left hip back. You're in it for three, two, one other side, left knee bends, right hip presses back. You're in it for three, two, one. And again, right knee bends, left hip presses. This time, rotate the left hand up to the sky, grow tall, pull the fingertips up to the sky for three, two, one. Let's bring it to center. Other side, left knee bends, right hip presses, reach the right hand up to the ceiling. You're in it for three, two, one, come to center, grab your elbows, nod your head no, shake out the tension in your head and neck. Start to nod your head, yes. And now let's pause, wiggle the elbows and torso side to side, loosen up that low back for four, three, two, and one. Let's release the hands, bend the knees, shift the weight into the heels, curl up, squeezing through the glutes, core, Slowly inhale the hands back up to the sky, grow really tall. 
And let's get the palms to touch, bring it down your heart, saying thank you to yourself, ladies and gents, for taking time to honor your body today. That was your Pilates hit session. Proud of all of you, and I just need to applaud you. Good job, everyone, high five. <laughs> all right, so if you guys want to hang out, can we just do a quick selfie, just for a second? I love it. Okay, so let's just get ready. I'm gonna unmute you all, you're all the best. All right, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take two. Yay, hold let me on, see your beautiful on, faces, on. yes, oh, Wait, and Felix. Me. All right, get ready, so this will be one. Get ready in three, two, one, and yay. One last one, you're all amazing. I'll see if they could email this out to you guys too. <laughs> all right, get ready, three, Hi, two and one, yay! Good job, everyone. Thank you. Good work. I applaud you all. I'm happy to stay on if you.